So Q browser has completely transformed the way I browse on my Android device and for that reason it's currently my best browser for Android. Now in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 reasons or its top 5 features why it's indeed the best browser for Android. Now my first reason is its user interface now. Q browser is built based on the Chromium engine and that means it has the same user interface as Google Chrome. And as a matter of fact if you open Q browser and then someone else also opens Google Chrome, you're going to find that these two have the same similar user interface. So as you can tell from my screen recording here, this is the same user interface as that of Google Chrome. Of course, as you can see with Q browser, you're going to get some more added features that of course we're going to be talking about in this video. But the user interface is totally the same as that of Google Chrome. And that makes it easy for someone who has been using Google Chrome to use this very app. Now next I must talk about Chrome extensions. Now in case you didn't know, Kiwi browser is the only Android browser that supports the use of Chrome extension. So as you can see, if you got options here, then you're going to see an option of extensions. You tap on it. Uh, you're going to see a list of extensions. These are the extensions that I'm currently using on my phone, but you can also add your own favorite extensions. Uh, I've made a detailed video about this. So in case you want to use all your favorite extensions on your Android device, the only go-to browser would be Kiwi browser. And you're going to be surprised by the way you can use any extension on your Android device. Like I've said, I made a detailed video about this and I'll be leaving it in the video description below. So in case you don't know how to use Chrome extensions on your Android device, go ahead and check out that video. Of course, after watching this one, right? Now, my third reason, which happens to be one of my favorite reasons, is the ability to use an external download manager alongside this very browser. Now, that means if you have a download manager, for instance, my favorite download manager currently is 1DA but as you know it's browser it's very fake so that means i can use this very browser and link it to 1dm directly so that i can start downloading files using 1dm and of course i also made a video about this but to briefly show you this you simply got options then you got settings then you can scroll and look for downloads you tap on downloads and then here you're going to see an option of external download manager so let me uncheck this then check it again as you can see they'll bring you a list of all the download managers you have here and select one that you want to be using so for instance if i select 1dm and then i want to download files on this very browser these files are going to be downloaded using 1dm now next this browser also has a developer tools option and if you're into inspecting websites and all that you can do that on your android device so what i'm talking about is if you go to options here you're going to see an option of developer tools and you tap on it and this is going to bring up another tab as you have seen so you go to tabs here and look for that very tab it's here developers tools you tap on it and as you can see it's going to bring up this page with the developers tools where you can go ahead and inspect all your favorite websites so if you're into inspecting websites then i'm pretty sure this is good news to you because if you are like me and you've been looking for a website or browser that does this then you're in the right place now finally i cannot forget to talk about its inbuilt ad broker and pop-up broker and if you have been using websites like google chrome then i'm pretty sure you have always encountered annoying pop-up tabs right so this can be solved with two simple options the first one is this one right here when you go to options then you're going to see an option of hide annoying ads so as you can see you tap on it hide annoying ads and if this website had the annoying ads they're all going to be hidden automatically and that's the first option then the second option is going to be when you go to options then you scroll to settings and on settings you're going to look for site settings so site settings and then here you're going to see an option of pop-ups and redirects so you tap on it and as you can see here currently it's not activated but when you activate it this option is going to make it possible for you to avoid these pop-up tabs that always come up when you're browsing so you can continue browsing normally hence not being disturbed by these pop-up tabs so otherwise these are my top five reasons why this browser is indeed my favorite browser for android and of course you can let me know in the comments which one of the five is your favorite feature otherwise i catch you in the next one peace and love